But I think you can only do that for so long when you, and then you don't gain from it. I want to try and get strong with a bit more tension and control. So this is going to beat the shit out of me, I can tell. 22, 23, 24. Teabag, your face like this. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, we're in uh, Muscle Works Orpington. I'm here with uh, your favourite bodybuilder of 2023. It's the man on the block right now, Big Heck. Why are you talking about yourself? No. <laughs> I'm talking about you, bro. It's the win it all. So, uh, yeah, most of these videos are like kind of updates on how he's doing, which is cool, I like that. Um, he just came out of the win from the... the what, where was he? Was Milan on that? No, Milan. Milan. So they've just won the Milan two bros, no, one two bros, it was like NPC, uh, two favorites. And then did really well in the overall as well, looked fantastic. Um, first attempt even ever at trying to even stand next to people trying to go for their pro card. And he was right up there, so it wasn't even, the aim was it as such. Just go there, test the waters and yeah. Now you're kind of uh, just happy to uh, plod along, maybe do another couple of shows? Couple of shows, another one. Three weeks time. Yeah. Let's see how it goes from there. Yeah. So where where he where it was so close, like it's one of those. He did an overall, and it was like really, really, really close. He was sent a call out for quite a bit of it. Um, we both think we know why it didn't go his way, which is it's cool because that's what you do. You look at a show, um, and the things that can be fixed are easy. They're not like you don't need a whole year to change them. Um, so I think really the aim is just uh, from what I understand, a bit sharper. Sharper, yeah. And then come back with the same kind of, you know, same amount of muscularity that Nate already has and just see where the chips fall because if you get to an overall in the show, you might as well go for your pro card, guys. If you're doing that well in, in, a, in a pro qualifier, stay in shape for a few more weeks, give it another run, see what's what. We're still likely to win at least your class and get another win on the season. So it's something that I didn't do enough as a, as a, a bodybuilder coming up. Um, and especially as a pro, like, I'm in shape and sometimes I chicken out of doing shows just because the fear of losing. But, you know, if you lose a show, you don't lose the show that you won. You've already won that, so you still have your title. So maybe even for me going forward, I have to take a little bit of motivation out of that approach. And uh, don't be such a chicken shit, because I am a little bit of one. So, um, yeah, today we're going to do, uh, we've got legs. It's our first leg day of the week. We've got two leg days a week. Uh, squat, squat focus today, um, some RDLs. It's quite a hard workout, actually. I forgot about the RDLs. Yeah, TV didn't even know about the RDLs too, anyway. Um, something lately that I've just tried to highlight in my channel, it's like, you guys, if you come here and you want to watch this stuff, can I promise you you're going to learn how to peak for a show? Can I promise you how you, to look your best? Probably not. But I know that if you come here and you watch this channel, what you will understand is how to train. Um, You'll understand what it is to dig in when you're not feeling like it. You'll understand what it is to challenge yourself and exceed expectations of, of your performance. And, you know, I discussed this with Jordan a lot. The bulk of bodybuilding is what you do in the gym. If, if, if you don't give it your all in here and you don't manage to exceed expectations or push yourself beyond, then you can't really expect yourself to push yourself beyond in other environments. So I just think it's really critical that you learn to go into a gym space and challenge yourself. And, and, and then that can roll over into any other aspects of your, whether it be bodybuilding or life. So uh, one thing with Nate, training with him, we don't even exchange a lot of words. We know how much has to be done and we never do less than that's necessary. You know, even on the days that me and him don't feel like it, Nate will get onto the, the machine we're using and he'll perform, even if he looks half asleep. And that's just the way it is. And it's just that consistency of being that way that you don't drop below the bar over a period of not like, you know, years. That leads you to a point where you're like him, where you're like one of the best amateur bodybuilders on the scene, multiple show winner in a year. Um, you know, I've, I've managed to do well out of it, get to the Olympia and stuff. And mostly, it's not because of science or knowledge; it's just because of heart and integrity of getting in the gym and having it. Uh, you know, you can take your body further from training hard than you can from knowing a lot about science. I would say if one one of the two was more integral, the most integral part is how hard can you train and push yourself. The science is great, it's the icing on the cake. If you know what you're doing on that kind of level, it should really assist you. But if you only know the science and you don't know the training and you can't push yourself, I guarantee you'll never be over 250 pounds lean on stage. It's just the way it is. Um, anything to add to that? I'll just agree. It is. 
So, yeah, so I'm going to mix up my intro today. Uh, I'm going to use some, I forgot I had these actually. This is the Hydra Elites, it's just a hydration formula. I've just switched over to using purely the uh, Glycobol Pepto Pro, which is the Pepto Bowl, hydrolyzed casein, clustered dextrin. Um, my current uh, macronutrients during training are uh, 50, uh, no, 30 30. So I'll have 30 protein and 30 carbohydrates from these two. I think I've said that. Um, Nate doesn't take an intro at the minute. He gets all his nutrients from the around the day. He prefers solid foods. I'm kind of the same a lot of the time, but um, I've been doing this for a little while, so I'll stick with it for now and see how it goes. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks to John again for having us at MuscleWorks. Always appreciate it, man. You're, you're you know one of the best people in the industry. And uh, let's get a session. Let's just work hard today and let's just enjoy it. It's fucking bodybuilding. That's what we do. Yeah, just trying. to do like 20 plates. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just being, because it's not the same as what we use. I'm trying to be nice to his knees. He'll thank me in five years from now when he's still got a pair of knees. <laughs> I just got one set on this, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not actually a set, is it, today? Yeah, I think it is, but... I think you've got more, though, don't you? I don't know. I think you had, like, two or three last week. We haven't done seat curl for so long. Your face like this. Oh, yeah. My objective now is not to be able to do loads of reps, it's to try and kill myself off on this weight. Like, as quick as possible with good form, really. Some weeks, like, a number set, and I'll, like, literally be like, okay, I'm just going to power out the hole and try and get, like, 20, and I have. But I think, you can only do that for so long when you, and then you don't gain from it. I want to try and get strong with a bit more tension and control, so. This is going to beat the shit out of me, I can tell. Sick. Lovely, come on. Different ways of squatting. And that way, oh, that way he's a motherfucker. Oh. Ah. That's hard. Look, dude. So set like that, I'm trying to get down in the hole. And then I'm literally trying to, I'm contracting from here, like a leg extension. The sets where I go high rep, I can track from like everywhere. 
So I'll have slightly higher foot placement and the hips are more in it. But this is all quad. And that's, for me, it's a better like a sissy bit at the end of the movement. Yeah. Fuck. You got one set? Huh? One set. You got one, I got two, innit? I got one. I got two last week. I might have got five plates, and I'll do a warm up on that. Yeah, do a fill on that and go five. It feels so much nicer in it. Huh? It feels so much nicer in it. I know. I, I like this platform. Yeah. I think it's because this is actually flat floor. No disrespect to other gyms, but a lot of them don't actually have a, a floor that's been leveled deliberately. As you know from training in space like Kings and stuff, yeah. the floor is not even, and when you squat, your hips come out. I know that John here had this, this whole floor was built from scratch. So it's, yeah. uh, it's level. Yeah, you just get a nice even press through the floor, don't you? It's quite springy as well, that bar. Busy off the helm. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice. Fine, good. That's not good. Good, one. Two, easy. Three. Four. Five, come on. Six. Seven, lovely. Eight, keep going, come on. Nine, good. Ten, easy. Evan, good. Come on, finish it now. One more like that. Good. Oh. Easy one. Two. Good. Three. Four, come on. Five, come on, finish it. Finish it, set. Up. Get it up, come on. There you go. Woo. Oh. All right. Audio, finito, done. All upper leg done now, moving on to cards. Jimmy. Seven, eight, nine, three. Oh, it's gone. Bit of, uh, bit of a shoulder touch up now. For shoulders is obviously something that me and Nate are trying to work on. So the frequency of shoulders is very high. It seems to be doing the job right now. So we'll keep doing it. So it's a lateral movement pretty much every day that we train currently. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, come on, 15. Fucking hard for 12. That time. Ooh. I beat you. Huh? Beat you. I got 12 on that one. I got 15. I know. Come on, bigger. Huh? Bigger than you. Soft. Two more now. Five rounds for me. T4 for him, five for me. Curls. Last exercise for abs. Goals for the... Not girls. Guys for it. Squeeze them up. Yes.
nice little combo, fucking drunk. We've done the leg extension and we do like a 70% weight, 20 reps, get blood in there, then attack the half, half squat. But today we did like two, two very good sets on the extension. Kind of lit me up. This is a work of art. <laughs> Became a training partners, and uh, thanks to John for Muscle Works, and thanks to Faith Films for filming today. And we'll uh, we'll catch you on another one very soon. We appreciate you guys. Take care.